Hey guys, Mike from the Off Grid Shop here. Welcome, if this is your first time on the channel and you're interested in learning stuff about home battery storage and off-grid products, drop us a comment down below and also don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with everything we've got going on here. Now, this is a question I get asked every single week is, hey Mike, should I install home battery storage? Now, at the moment in Australia here, there's a lot of energy companies like Origin and AGL, the big energy companies trying to offer home battery storage. Now, I want to duck into it and show the reason you would put home battery storage in and some different options. Now, the most common question we get asked is about Tesla. Now, it's really important that you think about with home battery storage is what's the reason you want home battery storage? Now, the reality is from a financial point of view, there is certain spots in Australia where they give rebates and things like that to help with the initial costs. But if you're not getting any incentive with batteries, it's really hard to make the numbers work. It's thinking about the reason that you want batteries in your home. My opinion all the time is if you want batteries, you're doing it because you want cold beer and air condition when no one else has got it. I just want to talk to you through a couple of different options and how they work. So let's start with Tesla and explain Tesla. Now Tesla is probably the most economical battery to buy out there when you're buying a large battery around about that 12, 13 kilowatt hours. You can't beat Tesla for price. They are the largest manufacturer of batteries in the world, hands down, pretty simple. They make electric cars. Electric cars take a lot of batteries. So that's why they can really drive that price down. The one problem with Tesla, though, if you're looking to, to buy a battery, is every time you want to buy or add, you are buying 13 and a half kilowatt hours of battery storage, basically. So you can't sort of grow and add, which is some more options I'm going to show you. Now, with Tesla, pretty much will work with any solar system in Australia. Now, there's a couple of things to think about. Now, if you do want your solar to work when there's a blackout situation, to so say, for example, it's a sunny day, and you want your Tesla power will to be charged by your solar when the grid's failed, which is very rarely. Have a think about how many times the grid's failed when it's been sunny. Most of the time, it's when it's been raining. So just say, for example, over here on the left, the, the mains are coming into the Tesla Powerwall. Pretty much you can put any solar inverter in Australia over here on the Powerwall. What will happen? The installer will install a little energy meter, then the inverter goes in, and then what happens is it'll, the Powerwall sees energy going back to the grid and then says, hey, look, let's charge, charge the battery. And same thing of a night when it sees energy pouring from the grid, it'll discharge the battery to make sure that you're not buying energy from the grid. That's how it works. Now, if you want it to work in a blackout situation, so the grid's down and the sun's out and you want your inverter on this side, so you've got your battery, your inverter and your home loads over here, there's only a handful of inverters that Tesla will actually warrant that situation for. So something to think about and have a discussion and check with your installer whether those inverters will work. Tesla's ideal if you're looking to get about that 13 and a half kilowatts of storage, you've already got PV, you don't really want it to work in a blackout because you're a really reliable grid. Now, the other thing with Tesla, you can actually add a generator. It was one of the downsides with Tesla before you couldn't actually charge it from a generator. Now, this new model you can, the Powerwall 2, you can actually have a generator. The catch is though you do require two Powerwalls. So if you're not buying two power walls, you can't run a generator. And there's actually the same thing. There's only two generators in Australia that Tesla will actually warrant. So have that conversation with your installer is whether you can warrant it. Now we'll move on to the next one, the Redback technology. So the Tesla is more of an AC coupled battery. Well, it is an AC coupled battery. It has a battery and inside it has an inverter. So it actually takes the power from the battery itself and turns it into AC usable in your house. Now we explain the Redbacks here. This is an Australian company, really good product. What I love about the Redbacks, if you don't really have the money and you want to do a whole full battery system, what's really good about the Redbacks is this is the inverter up top. This is all the switch gear and everything like that, all the safety stuff. What I really love about Redbacks from it, for the installers that install this stuff and the same for you as a customer, if there's a failure, you literally just grab this big red switch here, flick it, and it bypasses the system, takes you straight back to the grid, which is really great built-in redundancy. Now, the other thing I really love about the Redback, they're a DC coupled inverter. So basically what happens is your solar panels come into the top here and they charge the batteries directly with DC. So the inverter is involved and you've got batteries down the bottom here. And then they take that same battery and they turn it into AC to run your house. So it's actually got both. It'll charge the batteries from DC and create AC for your house. Now, the really good thing about Redback is in these little cupboards here, you can fit four battery modules. So let's just say if you want to only start with two, which... You know, I've seen a lot of people over the years that we've consulted to and been involved with them getting the solar system. They just start with two batteries there and then over time you can actually add another two on the bottom. And with these Redback systems, you can add more and more over time. So I think you can add up to eight in total on these Redback systems. So really good product, really good monitoring platform. I love them. They're also an Australian company. 
which also really helps with that purchasing decision. They're a lot cheaper than the Tesla when it comes to an all-in-one solution. And the one thing I really like about them is that you do have the ability to choose how much battery storage that you want over time. So you can actually get started, put a PV inverter up with some panels and batteries and start going to that path. Now, the downside with Redback, you can't put a generator into it. So if you do live rural, remote, and you do want that reliable power all the time, you can't put a generator into the Redback. So that's the downside with that there. Cool. Now, we move on to the next product. This is one of my favorites. Now, FEMA, amazing product. They're terrible at pretty pictures. And all these things, they do not look like this installed. Uh, in Australia, there's all these crazy stickers. Um, you'll actually see in your Tesla Power, it looks great. If you Google any Tesla's installed in Australia, there's big yellow stickers and red stickers and green stickers that go all over this saying danger, danger, danger. And um, they just make the installs look terrible, basically. <laughs> so, uh, but it, it's it's the law, basically, to install it. Um, so with FEMA, they're really good at products. These guys make some amazing products. This is all made in Italy. So everything's made in Italy from FEMA. Now, with their products, this is their React 2. This is an inverter and a battery. So it's really similar to the Redback. And these ones here more grow along the side of the wall. This is going to be more of a premium price product with the FEMA because, like I said, they're Italian-made. And these guys make some amazing quality products. And so basically these here, they're an inverter. So you shove your solar panels into them and you also shove, you know, your batteries here. You just keep buying batteries and going along the wall. And with these here, because FEMA do make AC coupled inverters, you can actually add an AC couple more inverters with these here. So literally you can, you know, if you've already got a FEMA or an ABB inverter on your wall, you can actually, in a blackout situation, make sure this keeps your thing, this keeps your inverter running. So it works and charges your batteries. Look, the reality is the amount of people, amount of conversations I have with people over the years saying, hey, look, I want it to work in a blackout situation. Really, most of the time as a blackout, have a think about this. Every time there's been a blackout, for me personally, I've experienced a blackout. It's been raining. My solar panels are not working. And my batteries have been charged from the grid most of the time because it's been raining for two or three days and I've kept my batteries charged before that blackout situation happens. So when there is a blackout, I've got that battery back up. And the reality is if you can't shove a generator into your product, you're only a couple of hours out behind everyone else. So it's one of those things to think about. And also with all three of these things, have a think about what you want to run in a blackout situation. And that's another way of making your batteries last a very long time is if there's a blackout, the oven switch off, you know, you might go use your barbecue to cook rather than use your oven. You know, your battery system just runs your lights, your TVs and your fridges and the internet's in. So you can get on YouTube and watch your off-grid shop videos. So. <laughs> um, so yeah, so something to think about. What is it you want to wide on that off-grid circuit? I know Redback as an example, they have a, an AC coupled battery um, down here. Where is it? Smart battery system. So they've got an AC coupled battery that's really just designed. This here, you've already got a PV system. This is more designed with the tester and you know you just run your lights and fridges and stuff like that in this here in a blackout situation. You wouldn't put loads of stuff on it. This is more designed around financial incentives to make it try and pay for itself financially is the reality. But remember, if you're going to go that line and put home battery storage in, I'd be thinking about cold beer and air con when no one else has got it. That's the likelihood of doing it and not trying to worry about the financials because it's really hard to make the financials work from a battery point of view. If you are doing it from a financial point of view, I'd highly recommend just load up your roof with as many panels as you can first, put that up and monitor your system for a while. Now, look, if you really want 100% reliable power all the time, I'd be looking at more of an off-grid solution. In Australia, there's a lot of different off-grid solutions. You know, for us as a business, we prefer to use the Victrons. There's a lot of Victrons that we use. Now, these Selectronics, hands down, best inverter in the world, most reliable, made here in Australia. I think 86% of the components in these things are made here in Australia. So something to look at. And the great thing about these, they take the grid, they take a generator. You can pretty much do anything and everything you want with these things here. Now, with the Selectronics, the prices do look expensive. If you really look at the data sheet and compare them to a lot of other products in the marketplace, how Selectronics rate their products, most people rate their products of about the average of what their system can run about half an hour. So, you know, if you're going to load on for half an hour, you know, most of the other companies out there rate them for that's what our system would do for half an hour. If it gets hot, it's going to reduce and give you less. Now, with Selectronics, how they rate their units. So if you get a 5 kVA Selectronics unit, it will do that 24 hours a day, seven days a week in the middle of Dubai, in the middle of the desert. So that's how Selectronics really rate their products. 
which sometimes I think is probably not the best thing from a marketing point of view because a lot of people don't read spec sheets and data sheets for these things. Uh, but it's a really great product when it comes to that. But saying that as well, there's a lot of other good products out in the marketplace that if you don't need that 5kVA 24-7 running a load flat out, there's a lot of other products on the marketplace that'll do the same job for a lot less money. So guys, I hope this has been helpful. If you are looking to get home battery storage, put a comment down below, any questions or anything, or anything I've missed in this video. But just remember to recap, you want to put batteries in because you want cold beer and air conditioning when no one else has got it. The reason you're doing it is because you have an unreliable grid. Very rarely do batteries make sense financially. It's more about that reliability that if there's a blackout, you have power. Thanks, and we'll continue the conversation down below. Have a great day.